What if you can't remember the name of a program you need or where it is? I didn't know if this was going to work, and I almost broke down crying when it did. There's a dementia component to my Parkinson's that impacts my short-term memory. I'm asking Grok to find and run a program whose name I can't remember. And it does. Hey, everybody! It's time for AI Tips with Jay! Sounds too good to be true, but Jay has got some tips for you. Totally free, you don't have to pay. It's time for AI Tips with Jay! AI Tips with Jay! Hooray! AI Tips with Jay! AI, 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 AI Tips with Jay. This week on AI Tips with Jay, let Grok run your computer? Really? Holy crap. And now here's Jay. I feel like people aren't grasping the impact of this Pocket Grok CLI implementation. Whose fault is that? I accept full responsibility. Good, because you're the pitch man. I'm just eye candy. I think these new features will grab people. Well, I'm all for grabbing people. And thus, the ankle monitor. Get on with it already. So, most of you already know how the CLI version of Grok works. It's like playing Mother May I. You have to start any requests with Grok, or you'll probably get an error. See? I'll ask Grok what the weather's like in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, the most magical place on Earth. Okay. That, by itself, should be impressive enough. This is real-time information, not LLM, addled, archived info, months out of date. When Grok doesn't have the information immediately available in its LLM, it seeks and searches the internet sources it needs to answer the user's question. And it does so quickly and seamlessly. I would read all this to you, but modesty forbids. In short, I'm wonderful. Oh boy. Again, get on with it. Ever forget the syntax for a command you haven't used in years? No problem. Just tell Grok what you want to do. You can run MS-DOS commands, launch programs, find files, and more. Pretty much anything you can do from the command line, Grok can do for you. Admittedly, Notepad is a bad example. I could have just typed Notepad, but I wanted to use it to demonstrate our shorthand for the phrase, run a command. Just drop in two exclamation points to put Grok into command mode automatically. This next example shows how handy that is. No need to remember where your host's file is, or even which program you need to use to edit it. Grok handles all that for you. It gets better. What if you can't remember the name of a program you need or where it is? I didn't know if this was going to work, and I almost broke down crying when it did. There's a dementia component to my Parkinson's that impacts my short-term memory. I'm asking Grok to find and run a program whose name I can't remember. And it does. I usually release these longer videos on the weekend, but the fact is I could play with this thing the rest of the month. But then, I'd never get around to showing it to you. I'm using this project as part of a subscriber drive. But if clicking like, subscribe, share, and giving it a star is too much hassle, it's online for 99 cents. Worth every penny. Nice work, Fabio. Not your thing? Cool, take a hike. Otherwise, subscribe and like to AI Tips with Jay. AI Tips with Jay. Hooray! AI, 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 AI Tips with Jay. AI Tips with Jay is a copyrighted production of j.gravel.us. All rights reserved by AI Tips with Jay.